Hey guys, Mr. Pro here with a quick guide in Dark Souls 3. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I know I usually don't do these, but uh, here we go. This is the guide for the red soapstone, quick and painless. So first things first, you want to head to the cleansing chapel. And when you're here, uh, hopefully you run through this area. If not, then you'll find it on your way. But out there, there are those people uh, begging down in front of an SS shard. Either that or it's never, I can't remember. But you'll have all these shortcuts opened. At least hopefully you do. You're going to go through the left one. You're going to run along here. You're going to take a left. And there's going to be an elevator here. And don't worry, that door will be unlocked when you open the shortcut. You can open it immediately. And we're going to go up here. Now, um, the red soapstone is just like the normal soapstone, except you can place it down and people summon you to fight them. So it's good for fight clubs and stuff like that. And you don't lose any health and you keep all your SS class. So you're going to walk around this corner. And instead of hopping down, you're going to turn. And you're gonna go around here and you're gonna go up the ladder um it's funny because today i actually just beat dark souls 3 so this is actually pretty quick for me okay and there's this guy here i'm just gonna get a little backstab on him just for fun i really don't have to since everyone in here is already one hit uh, i'm gonna use one spell well oh, that noise always freaks me out you're gonna fall down here off that edge now i'm gonna use a spell here i'm gonna use spook Sp spook sorry uh, I'm gonna kill this uh, this guy a little quick. This little guy. Uh, if you need help killing these guys, use a shield. They're all right. Well, I'm gonna get hit by that. Um, so you, I'm gonna use spook. You definitely don't have to, but it makes me uh, quick on the feet, and enemies won't notice me as fast. Like that guy didn't even know I was there. You're gonna run through here, over these rafters. Hold up your shield. This dude will shoot an arrow. There we go. Take that. Run along here. Ignore this guy. Get on this edge and walk as close to the edge as possible and fall down on this platform here. There you go. Now you're going to take another roll off of here and fall down here. I'm going to heal real quick because I'm not embered at the moment. Okay, now you're going to see this slime dude launching shit at you. <laughs> okay, you're going to run to him and take a right up this ladder. Okay. Now when you walk in here, you're going to see two things. You're going to see him and you're going to see him. Now, see right there, right where my head is, sorry, so all these guys are going to ambush you, but I'll actually walk over to the area, these guys don't completely annihilate me. Right here where all these notes are, there will be a man standing here shooting spells at you. When you kill him, you will get the red soapstone. And then if you go in here, if these guys stop hitting me, and you open these doors, there is a bonfire. And this person right here is Loretta, I think her name is. And that's how you get into the Loretta Bones um, faction. And this is the one that uh, invades people. And you get the... Oh god, what did I get from her? Oh, this is the person that can change your levels and you can redo your appearance. And I don't know why she's alive right now, actually. I killed her randomly. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on a quick and painless guide to the Red Soapstone. See you guys later. Peace.